Hey, Zion. Rabbi has more viewing than Oh. All right. Good morning, everybody. Oh, Good morning, Rabbi. I'm not sure trying to offend me. Sure sure all right, so, um, all right, now, all right, fine. So, uh, yesterday we left off, we, we brought, we had the Mishnah on Pei Vav Mabez. So, when, um, yeah, all right, so um, uh, so yesterday we had a Mishnah, basically that uh, a father is or a husband is allowed to go ahead and revoke the vows of his daughter or a child or of his um, his 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 wife. <laughs> and so let's say he thought it was one and it turned out to be the other. So he said he has to go back and uh, and uh, and do it right. He has to go back. Um, so then we brought a case of Kriya. Person who uh, tears Kriya, you see uh, one Bryce says you have to know for which person you're tearing Kriya for. The other one says no, uh, it doesn't appear you have to. So he said, No, it's it's two different cases. One is Stam, if you're Stam, and he assumes it's one, okay, and it turns out the other one, that's okay, right? That's considered that the, the Kriya is okay. Was, but if he was told it was specifically one of them, and then he then he thought that then he thought it was that one, it turns out it was the other one. Then he has to go ahead and redo it. So that was one way of answering up the two prices by the ta- by the case of Kriya. And then, so we left off uh, um, Ravashi, I believe. Uh, Ravashi Amar. So maybe around seven lines to the top. And pay Zayin Amar Aleph. Ravashi Amar. Kan dibur. Kan dibur. Right? No, you can answer up the two prices. Right? Also the case of the Mishnah. Uh, when it comes to by by uh, by Nidarim. also when it comes to uh, when it comes to the Dibur, how so? How the de Kriya? That what it says that let's say he goes ahead and he tore Kriya for the wrong person, and his yai say Shaninsa And that was first he was told his father, and then he tore Kriya, and then within Tachdei Dibur, basically within this man that one says Shalom Aleichem Rebbe or Rebbe Shalom Aleichem, right? Um, so during such time, a couple seconds, he hears it was his father or his son, the, the proper one. That accounts. He doesn't have to go ahead and redo it because he heard it within the time limit. And how they might have to say they Kriya, but if he was told his father, then he tore Kriya. And then he found out of his son that he has to go ahead and redo it. That was the African people. They heard it at least, you know, uh, more than five seconds later. But Tanya, as we learned in a Brisa, Mishi, the Chayl, the Pesach Beis, a person has a Chayl in his house. And he celebrates from the pretty faints who could do, uh, who could do, uh, uh, and he thinks that it wasn't fainting, he thinks the person died, the Kara, and then he tears, the Achakach Mace, and afterwards he died. Now, he basically, he tore too early, Lo Yatsi De Kriya. He has not fulfilled his obligation of tearing Kriya. However, Amr Abishun Pazi, Amr Abiyah Shub and Levi, Mishun Bar Kapara, that's only if the person died more than the Zman of Tarek Dibor, let's say 10 seconds, more than 10 seconds after he tore Kriya. But let's say he went ahead and he tore Kriya because he thought his father was dead, and it turns out he died five seconds after he tore Kriya. Kadibor dummy, therefore, uh, 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 we'll say that it's within the same time, and therefore he was Yaitse is the day Kriya. Yeah, that's the same person. No, no, right. But, then, but, but normally, even if it's the same person, Right. Mm-hmm. So as long as it was done with, so then we can move the time over in our soto over here. So in other words, it's, not the it's same okay. People, here you're having to come on on the same person. I mean, you know, oh, so right. But, but right. But over there, you're not turning for anybody, right? Over there, you didn't tear for anybody because no, no, right. no, no, right. no one was dead yet. The hill is on the luck is completely deeper. Deeper down. The luck is always that technically deeper is because deeper in our words we extend. You have it from when you say you have it a couple seconds. Let's say it's five seconds after you. We extend it for five seconds as this man, except for a couple of things. Chutz and the God they've except for a person blast a uh, blasphemer. A person curses Hashem. He says, "Ah, oh, just kidding. I didn't mean to say that. Too bad." The Ayvet Kachav or the Ayvet was Kachav. A person worships idols. You can't go ahead and take a bath with the deeper. And the Kaddish, a person marries a woman, and then within five seconds, he says, you know what, forget about it. No, we say his lush and so stands. Umagarish. Also, a person who goes ahead and divorces his wife, also, you can't go ahead and take it back, even within Teich de Dibor. That applies to food on the ground? Five second rule, no. That, that would appear to apply. That, that would appear as it applies. Who said? Uh, no, five, five, five inches of that. 
All right. Now in the mission at the bottom of Hey Zion. Oh, yeah. A woman says, Kainim Te'enim Vanovim. Uh, like, okay, we're going to do two more of the Shnai say We're going to do this one and then the final one. We're going to, right. So, Amra Kainim Te'enim Vanovim. Elush, anytime as the woman says that I'm making a vow from these figs and these grapes. Shani Te'enim is basically for, forbidding herself from going and tasting them. Kai, the Te'enim, if her husband goes ahead, he hears it. He says, Kai, the figs, right? Your mm-hmm. fig vow is, 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 is upheld. Mm-hmm. Kuloi Kayim. Everything is considered to be Kayim. So in other words, words, even though he only did a partial confirmation, partial confirmation works as a complete confirmation. She didn't get it wrong. As long as she didn't get it wrong. Yeah. Okay. Sure. <laughs> hey, for the Te'enim. If there was a case of hafara, let's say he, she says, okay, I'm forbidden from figs and grapes, and he says, I'm revoking your vow when it comes to figs, eno mufer ad she'efer after anav. This is my over here, one mashmas and the gemara, one mashmas and the mishnah. So set, uh, we'll go with the round over here, or the understanding. So it seems to me, right, that oh, the, the, vow, re, the, the vow, to revoke the any part of the vow cannot be revoked unless he revokes all of it, right? No, that's, that's because, because that's because what we're saying. Let's look at the Lashon. The Lashon says, "Eino mufer ad sheyefer afanavim." So if he, she says, "I'm forbidden from figs and grapes," oh, he cannot go ahead man. and one second and cannot go ahead and just revoke the oh, figs because she that said doesn't that work even it. as right. a partial, right. uh, 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 even the revoking of the right. tainim. It seems like none of it's none really of it is different. hafara, right. and therefore ain't a matter. Actually, for apple enough. Package deal. No, because package deal. So now they do not work alike. When it comes to be mekayim, it you're going to be mekayim partial. That works on the partial. Uh, the, that that okay. works to everything. When it comes to another, it's the opposite. If you try and revoke part of it, that doesn't even work on part of it. Mm-hmm. No, the only way to do a book is she would say the enim or another book, but yeah. she said oh, no, 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 say, say, let's say, let's say, let's see. let's see. don't add, you're, you're, you're assuming, let's see. No, no, but not necessarily true. Not necessarily true. name te'ena sheni to'emes, if she says name a figs from me tasting, the anava sheni to'emes, and grapes from me tasting, basically that's how she says it, kainem te'ena sheni to'emes, that's considered to be like two nadarm that was split, that was separated by the lashon of shani toamas, right. and therefore each one is treated individually. If you're kaim one, you're only kaim that one, or if you're made for one, you're only made for that one. Has nothing to do with the other one. Fine, mm-hmm. that was the mission. Now, you can't do here for a location. Right. So this whole point is only this one that they're coming to. So. The chiddush is by the the, the kayim, right? In other words, by the kiyum, right? If you only mekayim part of it, uh-huh. you you have been mekayim all that. Even later in the day, you can't go ahead and revoke it because you're already mekayim it. But and, uh, this, uh, double, yeah, the double ashan is that seen that we, we, we right <laughs> that also right. But in terms of revoking, we saw earlier that if you have to revoke the, the whole thing. Where so let's see the gemara. So mani must nisan. Who is the author of Mishnah, Rabbi Shmuel? It's actually Rabbi Shmuel, identical to this Brisa, the tiny bit of Brisa. So the Pazik says, Isha Yikimena, Isha Yikimena, right? A, a, a husband, right? Well, he uh, upholds it, or if he revokes it. So Amra Kainim, so how does that work? So Amra Kainim Te'enim Vanavim Elu, exactly like Arisha, she says, Kainim Te'enim Vanavim Elu, Shani Tuamas, Kayim, the Te'enim. So if he goes ahead and he's Mekai, uh, he's Kayim, the, the fig part, then Kulo Kayim, the entire vow is upheld, right? It's confirmed. Yeah. Exactly as we said. And hey, for the Te'inim, if he goes ahead and revokes the Te'inim, but if he goes ahead and revokes the, the, the figs, that is not revoked until he goes ahead and revokes even for the grapes. Divrei Rabbi Yishmael. That is the opinion of Rabbi Yishmael, which appears to be identical to our Mishnah. Rabbi Kiva, I mean, yes. he sent them in one, in one deal. Yeah, all, all together. It's a package deal, but the Kiddush is that if to revoke, you have to revoke both of them or none of it's revoked. But if you can't both be partial, then you can re- partial everything. However, Rabbi Kiva, I mean, no. Harei hu Aymer. Now, the start of it is, uh, is pointed out from Rashi. When it says, Yikimeno, Yikimeno means just be Mimenu uh, Huka from it. Be Mekayim, just any Mekayim, any part of it, the whole thing is Kayim. However, Rabbi Kiva Aymer, 
It says the same, so it should be treated the same as the menu. Just like it means, right, that when you're, you confirm of it, you confirm from it, meaning any part of it you confirm, the entire thing is confirmed. So too, if you revoke any part of it, the entire thing should be revoked. Just like when you confirm part of it, the entire thing is confirmed. So too, when you revoke part of it, the, 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 the entire part is revoked. However, Rabbi Shmuel says, no, miksiv yafir mimenu. It doesn't say yafir mimenu. It doesn't say you can go ahead and revoke from it, right? This is, the mashma says, right, afif uh, 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 he has the ability to revoke it, meaning the entire thing, and therefore you have to go ahead and revoke the entire thing. Rabbi Kiva, maki shafar la'akam. Ma'akam mimenu, afafar mimenu. And Rabbi Kiva sticks to his guns, he doubles down, he says, no, since it says we make the verse, the hafar la'akama, ma'akam mimenu, afafar mimenu. So that was the Shita of Rabbi Akiva. And Amr Abchia, Bar Abba, Amr Abyechan, Zaytivi, Rabbi Shab, Rabbi Akiva, Zaytivi, Rabbi Shab, Rabbi Akiva, Abba Chabib Aimrim, Makish Hakamal Afara. Learn it the other way, right? In other words, we're going to learn con- con- uh, 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 confirming it from revoking it. Mahafara, Mashafir, Hafir. So just like when it comes to Afara, and now this is why the, 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 the Ran and the Mishnah actually call us potentially going the other way. Just like when it comes to Afara, you can't only be Mayfair part of it, and that revokes everything. So too, when it comes to confirmation, you can't just revoke part of it, and all of it is confirmed. <clears throat> so he argues with Amishan. And now our mission seems to say, you go ahead and confirm part of it, the entire thing is confirmed. No, it says, um, no, he says, no, that if you only confirm part of it, the entire thing is not confirmed. You have to go ahead, and confirm the entire thing, not just partial. So therefore, the Chachamim argue with our Mishnah, who is the opinion of Rabbi Yishma. And Rabbi Kiva. No, no, uh, definitely, because Rabbi Kiva would argue when it comes to Hafara. Right. So the person says the grapes and figs. Right. The lady says grapes yeah. and figs. The guy says, I only confirm the grapes. The figs are also confirmed, because it's the Shekhar. It's, it's, it's Shkita. He it didn't say anything, so... Well, well, the Nachman would be, if the next day, no, he doesn't say anything, right? So then everyone agrees, but the next day is confirmed because that was the Yom Shmua. But let's say he confirmed it. Let's just say he says that, and later in the day he wants to revoke it. Can he Can he go ahead and revoke uh-huh. it, the other part? Right? Be far. So if you learn that the confirmation works as a confirmation, then all of a sudden you block any other future hafara, even from that day, on the Yom Shmua, right? So that would be a Nachman, Right, whether it's they're both considered because remember things get confirmed by default, right? You hear it and, and you don't say a word, and then the next day it's considered to be confirmed, right? So mm-hmm. what's the difference whether whether it's confirmed or not confirmed, right? So the document would be, I guess, on that day, whether or not one would have the ability to go ahead and revoke it later on. Mm-hmm. Okay. And the next part of the mission was also as Mark point also uh, mm-hmm. so how do we say in that case? Amra Kaina. So the woman says. Uh, uh, and then she says, uh, uh, So we say that's considered to be two different adarim. So this is the opinion of Rabbi Shimoni. Uh, as we've seen this before, until Rabbi Shimon says, if you're, you have to be mechalik to lashon. Those Rabbi Shimon is one of the case. So people are claiming money from somebody, and somebody makes a shmua. Uh, I don't know you. And he says, Lo lucha, lo lucha, lo lucha, lo lucha, lucha. And I was the only makes it says shvua, and then he says all luchas, and that is considered to be five different separate shvuas that he's uh, let's say he falsely uh, swore and says Rabbi Shimon, no, it, although it's considered to be five, if he says shvu lucha, I don't know you, and shvu lucha, I don't know you. Otherwise, it's all considered to be one. So therefore, according to Rabbi Shimon, the only the reason why it's it, it has to be separate is because you have separate lashanas. Others will say, no, it's even considered to be multiple shvuas in one. Mm-hmm. And Rabbi Shimon, since it says over there, sheni to emes, va'anava sheni to ashani to emes, therefore it's considered to be two, like the shita of Rabbi Shimon. And that's why it's considered to be two. Fine. Nine Mishnah says, Yedeya ani sheyesh nadarim. A person says, I know that there are nadarim. I know there's, there's, there's vows. I had no idea that a husband has the ability to go ahead and revoke his wife's vow. Then he is informed that, hey, by the way, you were allowed to go ahead and revoke his vow. So, Yafir. 
Then, so when he learns the halacha that he's allowed to, so even though he heard it on January 1st, but he only learned halacha on January 5th. No, he heard her make a nether. So, okay, there's another one. What can I do? She made a nether. January 5th, he learns halacha that he's allowed to go ahead and revoke it. He's allowed to go ahead and revoke it on that day. Yeah, fear. Because now he has the idea of both that there's Nadaram mm-hmm. and there's Hafarah, and therefore he's going to go ahead and revoke it. Mm-hmm. Wow. However, mm-hmm. a person knows the halachas of revoking. Obviously, he knows there's halachas of Nadaram, and he knows that a husband can go ahead and revoke his wife's vow. But he didn't know that which she said was considered to be a nether. So Rameir Aymer Layafir. Rameir says you cannot go ahead and revoke it. Why is that? Because there's, uh, in order to go ahead and revoke, right, he has to be on Yom Shmua. And the Yom Shmua is considered to be on the day where he knows the halachas and he hears the nether, right? So he actually knows the halachas of Hafara. He, he heard the nether. He didn't know that was a nether, but he heard. Uh-huh. He heard her say something. He just he didn't realize <laughs> that that was another. So he really had the information. He did, he did there, La he did he, and therefore, when he learns later on, and he do it. It's too late. But <laughs> Chavim say no. Just you really, go ahead and revoke it when you if you have that. Once you have the full idea that that was another, and you know now you're allowed to revoke it. Since you know that now on January fifth, you can go ahead and revoke it. So the harder on a knowledgeable man versus non right. so, one. Right, as, yeah, uh, right. but even in this case, even if you're knowledgeable, yeah. you didn't realize he was what, what the nether was. So, but he was he knowledgeable, was, uh, and he was not productive. Right. The one before was not knowledgeable, so you give him a break. Because but it's not your break, it's, it's considered a break. Right. You know what is called the Yom Shmua. So, I, so the Gorgon's going to ask a question. I, I mean, who so it says, blow rose, right? So the, the Pasuk over there says, by a person who uh, is high of, uh, he kills someone uh, mm-hmm. uh, unintentionally, he's high of gullus. It says without seeing, you know, he doesn't know the person is there below rose. So prat le summa, that excludes a summa divre Rabbi Yehuda. It says Rabbi Yehuda, who is often the, the barpuksa of Rabbi Meir, right? Who we can assume that in our Mishnah, we because we're just going on the, la- the last statement of our Mishnah. So that is Rabbi Yehuda and Rabbi Meir, Aymer le Rabbi says a summa to include the summa. Now, according to Rabbi Meir, a blind person doesn't have full knowledge of who's around, you can't see. He, he has partial knowledge. Nevertheless, Rabbi Meir qualifies the partial knowledge, right? The rabbis is assuming that possibly the blood without seeing includes a blind person with partial knowledge. So a person with partial knowledge is considered to be right. like somebody uh, who, uh, who's chayv. But in our Mishnah, Rabbi Meir, Meir he can't go ahead and uh, revoke it later on, right? Because, right, we say over there that uh, he didn't have full knowledge. He didn't have full knowledge, and therefore, he didn't have full knowledge on the, on the Yom Shmua, and therefore, it doesn't work. So over there in our Mishnah, it's, it seems to be that Rameir says even you need full knowledge. Otherwise, you can't go ahead and, and, uh, and revoke it. And Rabbi Meir over here seems to say uh, uh, you don't need full knowledge, right? When it comes to, by, uh, when, when, it, uh, when it comes to uh, uh, Gullus. And then the opposite would be Rabbi Yehuda. In our mission, says Rabbi which is also Rabbi Yehuda, right? He's amongst the Chachamim who argue the Rabbi Meir. So he says, Yafir, right? He says, hey, you, know, you can go ahead and revoke it. You don't need all the full knowledge. And the Rabbi Yehuda uh, by, by us says, no, uh, Suma, he doesn't have the full knowledge of who's around him. He can't be Chayab Gullus. So how do you explain it to so it just it goes quickly to the Mishnah, Sama Rabba. Right, but it, it, it has to do with knowledge. You know, he didn't uh, intentionally kill somebody, right? He was taking his axe and he went back, and then you know the head surely, flew off, surely, and then it killed somebody. Now he has like, to go gulp. You can look at Suma in the first case or the second case. You really can look at Suma, it depends what direction. Got. Suma, you can say he didn't know who was well, well, that's like if or you can say he was not. He, he, right, a blind person is assumed that he doesn't have full 100% awareness of who's around. Yeah, so the only so way even though he might hear, so nevertheless, he doesn't see, mm-hmm. he can't be confirmed. So nevertheless, uh-huh. can a person who doesn't have full awareness? But the Pasuk says, blow rugs, right, without seeing. The Bachalikas over there is really separate from Yedia. It has to do with the Pesukim by Gullus. How so? Rabbi Yehuda Saber, Gabi Ritzach, when it comes to murder, see the Pasuk says, Vashir Yavos Esrei Obiyar. Right, and he enters into the forest with his friend. Now, who can enter the forest? Call Everybody is included. So if you want to, right, 
the Suma Nami Barmiel Yolayar. A blind person can go into a forest. So it says a person enters a forest, everybody is fit to enter a forest, even a blind person. Right? Uh, bar, uh, uh, if you say the Pasuk says without seeing, right, come to include a blind person, we already know that. It says anybody entering the forest, which would include a blind person. Why do you have to say blow rose? Why is it, you don't say anything, right? And we know that anybody who enters a forest and kills somebody is, is high gullus, that would include a blind person. So why say blow rose? Elish, mami now blow rose, right? Without seeing, proud the sumo. That would exclude a blind person. So, since it was included in the part of entering the forest, so therefore, when it says blow rose, comes to exclude. That's why Rabbi just says, Rabbi Meir Saber, Rabbi Meir says the opposite. Exceeds says, Blidas, without knowledge. Called over, miyada, right? Anybody who can know for sure. The sumo lav bar miyada, but as a blind person can go know for sure. He doesn't see that he's there. If you want to say, if you want to go ahead and exclude when it says without seeing, exclude a blind person, right? From the Chayv Golas, he believe that's not We can actually already exclude him from the Pasuk that says he had, didn't have full knowledge, right? And that would include a blind person. So Elos rises and say uh, without seeing. Elos Shemami, no, below rose, below rabbis, the sum. Therefore it says below rose to come to include the sum. So therefore each one is not a machlokas over here by das. So over here it's a machlokas. When it comes to uh, how, to darshan, how, how to darshan the pasuk over there, it's a separate machleg between Rabbi Yudah and Meir, and you can't uh, confuse the focus in our case. And our case is independent of that. And Rabbi Meir says once again, Lo Yafri, you can't go ahead unless he has the full knowledge. And Rabbi Chaim say you can go ahead and revoke it once he finds out. Because even uh, once he finds out that, um, yeah, that that this was a uh, vow, he can go ahead and revoke it even days later when he finds out that it was a vow. So Sunday at the Shem, seven o'clock. We'll pick up from here. Everyone have a everyone have a.